The 103rd running of the Indianapolis 500 less than two weeks away. There are still plenty of tickets available for this year's race, so we sent News 8's Richard Essex out to see if this is a sign of a new trend. There are still 15,000 tickets available for the race, but even if they sell those tickets out, it's really not considered a sellout. The last time there was an official sellout of the race was in 2016. Every seat in the house was sold, and the Speedway restricted the number of people allowed in the infield. Typically on race day, the infield is a free-for-all with no limits on the number of folks allowed inside. This morning, the line for tickets moved without a hitch. Robert Hood of Greenwood just bought tickets for his 30th race. He remembers not too long ago when the race day crowd was a little thin. I've been here when whoever sat on the pole won the race. So now it's a lot more competitive, a lot safer. You don't worry about the drivers and the fans as much. Doug Bowles, the president of IMS, says ticket sales dropped after the 2016 race, and they have started to come back, but he isn't expecting the race to sell out this year. I think we're going to be up, which will continue that trend. Right now we are dead even every day and, until the last couple, so I'm pretty optimistic that we'll be up.